In this video, we will discuss how to do cross tabulation in chi square on categorical data in origin. Analyses based on the table can determine whether there is a significant relationship between variables and assess the strength of the relationship between the variables. How to do cross tabulation in chi square on categorical data in origin and interpret the results. It is to be noted that the minimum version required to perform these operations is origin 2016. This analysis is particularly useful for analyzing a categorical data. In these analyses, a contingency table is used to display the frequency distribution of two or more variables. Analyses based on the table can determine whether there is a significant relationship between variables and assess the strength of the relationship between the variables. In this worksheet, there are seven variables in the data, that is, age, in which there are three categories under 35, 35 to 54, and 55 and over. In 6, there are just two, which are male and female. And their financial status, that is, worse, same, are better than a year ago. First, we will categorize the data in order to plot it in a specific manner. The three columns, age, sex, and the financial status are under consideration. Right click the age column and select set as categorical. Do the same for the six and the financial status columns. Now either double click the age column or right click and go to the properties to select a specific pattern for the categories. Go to the categories tab, check the customize category box and select a specific order or pattern. Like the order here is to be under 35 first, then 35 to 54 and 55 and over. Similarly, do for the 6 and financial status columns. To do the statistical analysis, go to statistics, descriptive statistics, cross tabulation and chi-square and open the dialog. From the prompted menu, under input, in the row select column B, in the column select column G and in the layer select column C. In the statistics tab, all options are checked. We will have to uncheck some options for our data analysis like expected counts and the last three. In the test tab, select the chi-square test, expand the mergers of association option and then select the contingency coefficients phi and Kramer's V boxes which are required for measuring the nominal association. On the output tab, tick the mosaic plot checkbox and click OK to see the results. It has generated two data tabs as cross tab 1 and cross tab plot data 1. In the cross tab 1, Age for three categories versus their financial status are tabulated for the males first and then for the females. 
and finally for both males and females. It is followed by the chi-square test in measure of association. At the end, we are having the plots which are based on the above tabulated data to be interpreted one by one. Here are the three plots. In the first one, the age versus financial status of men and in the second one, the age versus financial status of women and in the third one, the age versus financial status irrespective of the gender have been discussed. Double click this one to show in a separate window. We see in the first one that men show no significant difference in financial status between different age groups. Men between 35 to 54 are a little more likely to be confident of their financial status. By double clicking here in the plot, we can edit the color scheme or plot pattern as usual in origin. Click here to restore the plot from where it was maximized. Now here, double click this plot to maximize and discuss it. There is a major difference between younger and older women's views. A majority of women under 35 feel they have better financial status. A majority of women 55 and over think their financial status remains the same. Fewer women under 35 think their wealth status remains the same, while fewer women over 55 think they are better off financially. In case we would like to code the exact values, we can consult the tabulated values. In plot 3, regardless of the six of respondents, there are some trends by age. People under 55 are more likely to be confident of their financial status. People over 55 are more likely to feel that their financial status didn't change. These were some hints to interpret a given categorical data, while further interpretations can be done by plotting the data in a different manner. Your comments, feedback, and queries are much appreciated. Thanks for watching the video and stay tuned for the forthcoming ones.